we'll be uh, discussing LT architecture today. LT is sometimes also referred as SAE, System Architecture Evolution. So uh, this is the first step towards uh, LT learning or the basic LT learning stuff. So let's start with LT or SAE architecture. Uh, starting from this side, I have divided into uh, the RF side and the core side. So the dotted line the dotted line divides the access network or the EU tram evolved universal terrestrial radio access network or the access network and uh, the other side is the core network or the EPC evolved packet core combinedly it is called SAE system architecture evolution so from uh, access network side we are having the first entity in our network is the UE as a user, user equipment Normally it can be a handset, it can be a laptop, whatever you are using for accessing LT network is called a user equipment. From the user equipment to the actual trans receiver, the LT transmitter and receiver it is called combined trans receiver or the E node B, evolved node B. So the interface between the UE and the E node B, the first entity is UU interface or the AR interface, LT UU interface between the user equipment and the evolved node B. That's the first interface. Moving forward from E node B towards the other E node Bs, this interface is called X2 interface. This is required wherever we do um, intercell handovers. So it will be easy if the X2 interface is there, the decision can be made more easier and can be handled from here without uh, involving MME. If X2 interface is not there, we have to involve MME through S1 interface. So when handover comes into account, we need to ensure we have X2 interface to save signaling load. Then moving forward from E node B to MME and to switching gateway. We are having two interfaces. One is called S1 control plane or the S1 uh, MME, MME to E node B. This one is called S1 MME or S1 control plane. So all the control signaling is controlled through this link through MME. Then the second interface is S1 user plane towards the switching gateway or you can say S1 SCW or the S1 C control plane. The data is transmitted and received and this interface is responsible for that. So this is the third interface we, uh, we came to know. Moving forward, I have made it uh, a little bit uh, more detailed in terms of connecting to uh, UTRAN also, the 3G network and also inside LT. So a little bit more complicated picture but it will be easy for you uh, to understand all the interfaces involved in LT so that you can go about it and you can go ahead uh, understanding the LT network. So from MME, if we have a secondary MME or the other pool MME, we can connect through S10 interface. From MME to SCW is a S11 interface. From MME towards SGSN, we are having S3 interface. Okay, now switching gateway. From switching gateway to UTRAM, the 3G network, we have S12 interface. Towards MME, it's S11 interface. From SCW to SGSN, it is S4 interface. From SCW to PZW, it should be S5 or S8 interface. That's why I've kept both of them, S5 or S8. Then, uh, from packet gateway to the other access network, or uh, for example, wideband LAN or something, we are having S2 interface. Please don't be confused with the S2 and uh, X2. X2 is between E node B and E node B, but S2 is some other access types, uh, network like WLAN from the PZW. From PZW towards PDN, we are having SGI interface that's sometimes also referred as IP services or towards the internet. From PZW towards PCRF, this is policy and charging related function. So we are having this uh, uh, 
um, uh, user profile and you know the charging related details in the PCRF. So from PCRF to PZW, we are having S7 interface. Sometimes it's also referred as GS and GX interface. If we have two PCRF like VPCRF and H for home PCRF then we are having a connectivity of S9 so that is the interface between PCRF and PCRF from PCRF towards the IP services or the home operators IP uh, we are having RX interface so that's all about the side and moving forward from SCSN we are having S4 interface towards SCW as I have already referred and SCSN to MME is S3 interface S6A this is the interface between MME and HSS so I think we have covered all the interface and all the entities here I will again summarize for you starting from here UE or the user equipment interface between UE and node B is UU from E node B to E node B X2 interface E node B to MME and switching gateway uh, S1 MME or S1 control plane and S1 user plane or S1 SZW respectively. We are having S12 from SZW to UTRAN. We are having S5, S, S8 towards packet gateway. From packet gateway to other access uh, types, we are having S2 interface towards uh, PCRF. We are having S5 or GX interface towards PDN. We are having SZI interface. From PCRF to the other PCRF, we are having S9 interface. From PCRF to home operator IP, we are having RX interface. From HSS to MME, S6A. From SCSN to MME, S3 and S4 towards switching, uh, switching gateway. And uh, from MME to switching gateway, S11 interface. MME to MME, S10 interface. That's all about the network, LT network architecture. I hope you'll enjoy this session. Uh, please put comments if you want to refer some other topics or you want to learn some other topics in my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thanks.